What's up guys, it's Christian here back with another video. This is my 2020 NFL Picks Week 2. I know I'm a little late with this. Ooh, watching the Stanley Cup Final right now. Anyway, uh, here were my picks from last week. Did pretty solid for the first week of the year. Went 10-6. and six. And uh, let's get going with this week's picks. So, I'm already 1-0 because I went with the Browns over the Bengals and got that one right. Honestly, the Bengals should be prob should probably be 2-0 right now. But, uh, yeah, Joe Burrow doesn't have an O-line or really any help around him. So, they're 0-2. The, your Tennessee Titans, that I forgot to make a video about them, barely winning in Denver, but you can probably imagine what my reaction was like after that game. I didn't really know what to think. I am going to go with this to beat the Jaguars here. I do not think we will have any problem with them tomorrow, so... I like the Titans to go 2-0 and and get the win here. Moving on. Over here. We have the San Francisco 40. Hold on, let me turn a light on. There we go. I didn't even get it. Wow. This is bad. A bad start. Okay, we're good now. First off, sorry about that. First off, we've got the San Francisco 49ers at the New York Jets. The Niners suffered an upset loss last week at home to the Cardinals. I do expect them to bounce back in this game because the Jets looked like absolute trash like as usual last week against the Bills. So I've got the 49ers getting it done. Two 0-1 teams, the Falcons and the Cowboys. Honestly, the Cowboys kind of got screwed last week against the Rams. The Falcons didn't look good at all. So in Dallas, I've got the Cowboys getting it done here. Two 0-1 teams, and honestly, this is two teams. Personally, I thought they were going to be 1-0, but uh, Indy with a really bad loss to Jacksonville. Uh, Minnesota with not a bad loss because it was, cause it was uh, Green Bay, but just a bad loss overall because of how they played. But I've got Indianapolis getting it done here just as the home team. I kind of went back and forth on that game, but I did end up going, well, going with Indianapolis. Uh... The Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I think the Rams personally got lucky last week. And I the Eagles have a lot more people healthy this week than they did against Washington last week. So I like the Eagles to bounce back and both teams be one-on-one -on -one after this game. I've got the Eagles. Uh, Denver and Pittsburgh. I like the uh, Steelers to win this game. Honestly, Denver... Probably should be 1-0 right now, if we're being completely honest about things. They probably played better than the Titans on Monday, but Titans got it done, thankfully. But I like the, the Steelers to get it done here. I, I thought they looked really good against the Giants, so give me the Steelers. I think they're a good contender to make the playoffs. Uh, the Panthers and the Buccaneers, not going to lie, I did not like what I saw from the Bucks against the Saints. Uh, the Panthers looked like about how I thought they would, so... I'll go with the Buccaneers to get it done and bounce back and get their first one of the year, though, at home. Uh, the Giants and the Bears. The Bears are another team that got lucky as crap last weekend. Uh, the Lions just completely choked against them, but I've got the Bears getting it done here. Uh, I didn't think the Giants looked good at all. I think they're probably going to be one of the worst teams in the league again. So I've got the Bears there. The Lions and the Packers. I've got the Packers here. The Packers looked really good last week. I think a lot of people forgot about the Packers and how good they were. So I think the Packers are going to go out, prove why they – or how they won last week the way they did. They're going to prove it here, win in the same fashion against the Lions, who are absolutely terrible. Uh, we've got the Bills and the Dolphins. I've got the Bills here. Uh, the Dolphins actually – it would not surprise me if they figure out a way to win this game. Uh, but I do have the Dolphins here getting it done. So – or not the Dolphins, excuse me. I've got the Bills here getting the win, but uh, don't be surprised if the Dolphins make this close and maybe even pull off the upset because they looked pretty good against New England last week. Uh, Washington and Arizona. I've got Arizona winning this game. Uh, both of these teams looked really good last week, especially Washington. They looked very impressive last week. And Honestly, Arizona could possibly start the season about 5-0 and um, if they win some of these easy games on their schedule. So... Give me Arizona there to get it done. The Chiefs and the Chargers. I've got the Chiefs here, obviously. Uh, they looked like they haven't missed a beat from their Super Bowl season last year against the Texans last week. 
So give me the Chiefs to get it done against the Chargers, who are 1-0, but they probably should be 0-1 if the Bengals had a kicker. But anyway, uh, the Ravens and the Texans, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought the Texans looked like absolute dog crap, even though they were playing the Chiefs. So I'll go with the Ravens to get it done here. Uh, I realize this pick might be wrong and probably will be, but I think the, I just trust the Ravens more in this game to get it done. Uh, I trust Lamar Jackson more than Deshaun Watson is the main reason. Moving on, we have two games remaining, the two the Sunday night and Monday night games. Sunday night, we've got the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, did they just score? I, yes, one nothing stars. We've got the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. I've got the Seahawks winning that game. Uh... You know, New England looked pretty good last week, but it's really hard to win in Seattle with or without fans. So I'm going to go with Seattle to get it done. Uh, I do think it'll be a really good game either way, though. And then finally on Monday Night Football, the Saints and the Raiders. So, uh, the Raiders got it done against the Panthers last week, but I thought the Saints looked really good against the Buccaneers. They, did, they looked like they uh, haven't missed a beat from last year. I mean, you know, besides losing to the Vikings in the playoffs. But other than that, I think the Saints get it done and continue to show why they're a Super Bowl contender. So, hope you guys enjoyed my week two NFL predictions. I'll see you guys later.